Saturday night Found a photograph of us Without cares and worn out clothes Doesn't seem so long ago Now I'm just sitting here bored at home And it really got me thinking of the times we took off on the road Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. If you are new, my name is Monica and I'd love to have you join me in all my decorating adventures. So click that subscribe button right now. You're also going to want to follow me over on my Instagram for more decorating tips and some behind the scenes YouTube clips and just a little bit of my everyday life. In today's video, I will be sharing how I get my day jump started with a little bit of light cleaning. I also have two easy decorating DIYs plus a little mini mantle makeover. I have had several requests to add some cleaning into a video, so I thought I would share a few minutes of cleaning motivation to this portion of today's video. When my house is clean, my mind is clear and ready to think about lots of new ideas. Let me know in the comments if you find it easier and more motivating if you give your house or even just the room that you're working in a quick tidy or clean before you decorate. Sometimes I like to remove as much as I possibly can and just look at a blank space and then just let my mind get creative and go from there. I find it so much more easier to decorate and it's so much less frustrating and it really is so much more fun when I do things that way. Killing time, Friday night, found a photograph of us. I can't remember what we did that time. We were spending one night in Venice. It just slipped my mind. I just know how it felt. I won't forget that windows down. When I'm finished with all of the dishes, I like to give my sink a good clean with some soft scrub cleanser. This gets all those little scratches and marks and stains out, leaving behind a sparkling clean sink. Today I'm using Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Multi-Surface Cleaner in the Basil Scent. I have been loving this fresh scent for all of my kitchen cleaning lately. It smells so incredibly good. In the beginning of this year, I started getting more serious about my health. I added space to my craft room for all of my workout equipment, leaving zero excuses not to exercise daily. I also added better eating habits to my daily routine, as well as making sure that I take my vitamins daily. Ritual is the obsessively researched multivitamin, reimagining health from the ground up and takes the guesswork out of vitamins. Ritual contains nine high quality nutrients from D3 to Omega-3 that are difficult to get enough of every day, even with a healthy diet. 
They are vegan friendly, non-GMO, gluten-free, allergen-free, and contains no added sugar. And I absolutely love their minty taste. Right now, Ritual is offering you all 20% off of your first month. So go ahead and click that link right now located in my description box so you can take advantage of this great offer today. Once I have my kitchen clean, I love starting my diffuser and I am going to be using my current favorite blend and that is lemongrass, lavender, and magnolia. This combo smells so incredibly heavenly. My diffuser was purchased on Amazon and I will leave a link in my description box because I do get asked about this every time I share it. These come in a raw wood finish, so just be aware of that. It is not gonna come white and I did paint mine white and I also added that little applique. For the first DIY that I'm going to share with you is this super cute herb planter box. I wanted something different to fit my decor. I couldn't find anything, so I thought I would make one myself. I found this planter box at Home Depot and this beautiful wood applique. I found it on Amazon, and I'm going to try and find that again and link that as well. And then I'm just using an E6000 glue to secure the applique to the center. And then I'm going to be using some scotch tape to keep it in place while it's drying. Once I have this all taped up, I'm gonna set it to the side and let it dry. And I do end up letting this sit overnight. I want to be 100% sure that the glue is nice and dried. So while I'm waiting on that, I am going to start on my next DIY. I'm gonna show you how I made this beautiful canister for my bath salts using a plain container that I picked up at Target, paint, and a pretty glass knob. I found this glass container, like I said, at Target, and this beautiful glass knob was found at Hobby Lobby. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets After my husband drilled a hole for me on the wooden top, 
I gave it a really good coat of white paint. I'm just using a basic white craft paint that I already had. So once the paint is dry, I will secure the knob to the top. Quiet voices in the night Time is running out of sight Lonely wind is passing by Tries to carry all the whispers that it finds I wanted to be different and add something other than a plastic scooper so I'm going to be using one of these pretty measuring cups for my scooper and I found this set at Home Goods a while back. It's like a made up place that only we can see. Hold my hand and hear the words I say. Close your eyes and let us fade away. Build the secret place for you and me. Let our minds be caught up in a dream. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes There's no one left but you and me It's like a made up place that only we can see Now that this applique is fully dry I took the planter outside and sprayed it white I just used a white spray paint that I already had Any brand will do the finish was in a satin and I let this completely dry overnight as well. And then I'm going to use four small four inch pots of basil to place in here. I didn't want to add potting soil to this and combine them all together because I might be switching out the herbs throughout the seasons. But I know I can't say that we didn't end it for good reason still I'm hoping we'll be meeting soon. While I was at Hobby Lobby getting a glass knob, I also picked up a few other goodies. I found this beautiful gold mirror that also has like a little candle holder down here at the base. And I found this for only $6. It was part of their spring collection. So all of their spring is currently on clearance right now. And then I found this gorgeous rose print on Etsy. If I can find this, I will leave it in my description box, but I thought it was so gorgeous. So while I was at Hobby Lobby, I also had them mount this for me so I can frame it myself. It's so much less expensive if you do it yourself. So once it was mounted, I found a frame that fit this, and I also found the frame at Hobby Lobby. Their frames were all 50% off while I was there. So. I picked up this beautiful gold frame and I thought this would look so pretty on my fireplace.
I absolutely love the way this looks over here. I cannot wait to start decorating for the seasons. I think fall and Christmas decor is just gonna look stunning with all of the gold that I have been adding to my decor. I just think it looks so pretty. So once I had this up, I kind of worked with things that I already had. So I didn't want to add a ton of stuff and take away from this beautiful print. So I just found a stack of books and a few candlesticks, and then I added a subtle hint of greenery to complete the look. Well, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by and joining me today. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure that you give me a thumbs up. Make sure that you have hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you all in the next one. Have a wonderful day. Bye. I can't help but dream away Standing on a field with you And flowers everywhere mm -hmm. Maybe there is a star